Hello everybody, and welcome to uh, my Let's Play of Mass Effect. Um, unlike Dragon Age, this is sci-fi instead of dark fantasy. Um, we're going to start a new career. Um, I have beaten welcome this game before the multiple, multiple times. Database. Um, but everyone Classified seems to want me to play a renegade femship. So we shall play a renegade femship. Establishing secure also. Secure connection confirmed. I forget what I was going to say. Da, da, da. Uh. Let's um, log in to access why not? your profile. That works. Um. I'm very excited to play this game for you guys. Um, <laughs> it, it's Warning, literally, I think, one of the best detected. games ever made, aside from KOTOR. Um, which I will also be playing after this one is done. Please reconstruct um, profile. Maybe after Dragon Age Confirm 2? Uh, history. Okay, what do we want? Spacer... Oh, it's Earthborn. Um, Confirm let's be a spacer. Profile. Uh, let's do let's do soul survivor confirm military specialization all right um i uh let's do well there's Obviously, Soldier is going to be the easiest, easiest one to play. Give you access to all the weapons. Um, it's like the, the choices I made earlier, they don't really affect anything, aside from maybe one or two side missions. Um, and like your background and stuff. Um, don't get hacking here. Do we? Are we able to hack here? Or is that only in two? I think that's only in two. Um... I think we're just going to go with the uh, pistols, shotguns, medium armor. Let's go soldier. Okay. Uh, electronics, barrier, warp, or throw. Lift is also pretty fun. Um, I think we're going to go with throw. Confirm facial identification. All right, let's change the appearance. Resets, what do we got? Okay. Um, <clears throat> eyes. I want their different, different eye color. I'm not going to be too in-depth with this because, well, there's really not much to be in-depth with for this, but uh, let's do the hair. I wonder if I have different hair than that. Wow, I forgot how little choices there were. I guess that's, that's I guess that's fine. Yes. Uh, makeup. Yes. I am so bad with makeup and stuff that it's just not worth it for me. Um, I think that's everything. Ooh, we gotta give her a scar, right? We gotta give her a nice looking scar. Uh, what do we got? Uh, 
Anyone that goes across the eye. Nope. Okay, so we'll just do it that one. Right under the eye. Affliction, that'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Construction complete. Yeah, looks fine. Although I'm terrible at this. So. Alright, um. I'm gonna go with veteran. Um, give it a little bit more challenge. Uh, this is what you fucking need for just, uh, just normal. Um, auto save, yes. Subtitles, yes. Squad power use is active. Uh, yep. Alright. I shall be quiet for the beginning cutscene. Enjoy. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I love Joker so much. <laughs> He's literally my favorite character in the entire series, aside from maybe one or two That's others. enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? 
Great, you made him Great. mad. You pissed the captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> oh, I love these two so much. Um, you probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Yeah. The captain's waiting for you in the com room, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you Sounds arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Perhaps I should do a female voice. What do you, you mean? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Well, of course it doesn't add up. You're not looking at the whole system. What do you know about the thing? stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Oh, come on, you worry a too much. A full crew makes sense. We need the extra hands in case anything goes wrong. And the Spectre's just here as an observer. Well, maybe you're right, Commander, but I just can't shake this feeling that we're out here on false pretenses. What about the captain? How do you, you like it? Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. What about the Spectre? How do you think about him? It, it, Presley is kind of biased against aliens, in case you haven't noticed. There's a lot of space racism in this game. You don't game. trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Plus, he's a specter. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Eh, uh, just do your job. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's Info's all right. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Yeah. All right. Uh, guys, also, I'm running into a problem, so give me one sec while I try and fix it. That's better. Okay, down. It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. Ooh, Jenkins. Something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Right. We also need to level up. I got three, three things. Yes. Do, do. Um. Yeah. That'll do fine. Yeah, that'll work. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. 
I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The doctor's Only right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What do you think of Nihilus, what buddy? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. <laughs> so Jenkins, you like the Spectres, What do you know huh? about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. That's dangerous, thinking Jenkins. Uh, nobody should be above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. So I You're think... from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Why are we going there? If we're not on short Any idea leave. why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. You'll Just do treat fine. this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero, dumbass. That's this how you get This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting Goodbye. for Goodbye. Goodbye, Commander. I like Dr. Chavez. She's nice. All right, let's go. Hello, Nihilus. How are you? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? Captain Anderson said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. Never been there. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that a threat to Are you terrain? trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Well, no shit, I already Sherlock. figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. You should have told me, Anderson. I don't like being kept I don't in like the dark. being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? What's the Protheans that? Prothean's vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, 
it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell them? They're so used. Also, um... I like Nihilus. Nihilus is a cool guy. Uh, but the Council? Yeah, they're a bunch of dickheads. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Like hell Since he is. when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. And what if I refuse? I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What are the Protheans? What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Where is this beacon? beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might ah, figure a Prothean fine. beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. What the are Attican those? Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. We'll be fine. Uh, we haven't asked about Eden Prime yet, have we? I'd like to so. know Let's more ask. about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. All right, Just let's get the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need...
Everything cuts out after that. No calm track. That looks at all. fun, doesn't it? Just goes dead. We're walking like into a hell. Giant evil tentacle man. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Looks like a giant Take us squid into fast and quiet. Doesn't it? This mission just <laughs> got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Roger that. Engaging stealth systems. All right. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Roger Captain? That. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point <laughs> one. Fuck the survivors. We don't need them. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Can we I trust don't like him? putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Roger Ready that. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are I love catching drop point two sectors so much. I love it. I think his name's Keith David or something like that. Um, but he he's fucking incredible. Uh, right, Jenkins. Uh, where are you? Where, where's Jenkins? There you are. Uh, let's give you combat armor. Couple ranks in the soldier. Why not? Caden. I'm going to give you decryption. And. Let's do first aid. Alright. Good to go. That's right. Do, do, do. This place got hit hard, Commander. I don't need a pistol, I need the assault rifle. And I need my sniper rifle. Thank you. Uh, bam. There we go. What are they? They're dead. Ha ha ha. Eh, nothing really good yet. I think it's super good yet, but uh, I suppose it would. I suppose it would help to. Uh, nope, wrong button. There we go. Equipment. Right. Let's upgrade. We got ten hardening, ten physics. Let's do the hardened weave. Sorry, I had to blow him up. It's needed. Also, the stamina meter. I fucking hate that thing. So very much. Literally the worst thing that could possibly happen in the game. Looks clear. Jenkins scouted out. That sucks for him. Alright. That went well. Clear. Jenkins, no. Ripped right through his shields. You're at a chance. Eh, forget him. He's useless throwaway him. character. That's we need fine. to finish the mission. Aye, aye, man. Renegade. Okay, Shepard. What are you doing? Some burn 
our buildings Man, here, they are really ripping apart our shields, aren't they? I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. All right, Nihilus. Understood. Enjoy. Have fun. They're hard to weave. Whoop. Caden, I really don't care if you get down here every time. Okay, Caden, you need to get out of my way. Go over there. Caden's gonna be down in just a second. There we go. There's one. And there we go. All right, that went well. Now, if I remember, if there was a meta, yep. There you are. Yep, can't go that way. Ow. Nice shot. Oof. Be glad the impaler is ass. One thing I forgot to do is, uh, can I assign? I can't. Shit. Okay. Thanks for your help, Commander. That was a waste of overkill. But it's all right. Overkill Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams lot. of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? What happened? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your Where's the unit? rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Uh, so you abandoned them, basically? You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming Take with us. us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Uh, what else do you tell know about, about the, the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay. And what else can you tell us about the beacon? Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Okay. What and happened the to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Uh... What did you do before Describe the attack? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay. Have you seen what a about Nihilus? Inspector around here? 
There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Alright. Let's head Move on then. Out. Ashley. Alright, we gotta level you up. Uh, oh, I can level up? Um... Okay, um, your decryption and first aid and you, you'll get the same, uh, and assault training, why not? There we go. Go ahead and save. All right. Ooh, armor piercing. Nice. And scorpion armor. Now, I will be the first to admit, I hate that you can't actually choose your armor color. Because some of the armor colors are fucking terrible. Armor piercing rounds on that, and radioactive rounds here. You poor son of a bitch. Also, one second, guys. Alright. Neil, Neil. Neil, you idiot. Get in the cover. Stupid dumbass bitch. Alright. One. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. What's going on This here? is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We're wasting Let's time. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? <clears throat> yeah, it's I just am. on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Oh, change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, now this. I'll be there soon. Do -do -do. All right. Assault rifle, shotgun. Ooh, upgrades to everything. Oh, and I level up again. Wait, I level up again? All right. Um. I want to unlock fitness as soon as possible. So, let's put it into assault training. Encryption and electronics. There you go. Let's put another one in soldier and another into assault training for you. Alright. Equipment. Yep. Oof. Not taking that accuracy rating. Hey, actually, there you go. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll be fine. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place. No for shit, Sherlock. Keep your guard up. Yep. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the gas do like to them? Everybody, get out your shotguns. 
Caden, why do you have an assault right Never mind, I'm not even gonna bother asking. Fuck you! Ashley, why, why do you hate me? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's it. Bag him and tag him. What's huh, Ashley? Hurricane and Avenger. I uh, don't need an Avenger. What, what did you say huh for? You don't say. Yeah, it makes sense. That's what I would do. Ooh, medium armor, human, nice. Uh, anything? Nope. Okay. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. You don't say. Luckily, we brought Caden along. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door before they come back. Tell me what How happened. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong What's with What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I bet you I could help Say with that. Night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Bah. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. <laughs> you can't just go around <laughs> whacking people in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. All right. What can you tell me about the what attack? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the geth swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. What about Did you notice Turian? a Turian in the area? No, I'm sorry. We haven't left the shed since the attack. Well, that much is obvious. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Groundbreaking medical advances? The possibilities are endless. Goodbye. Have fun with your Williams, dead assistant. Take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Or, well, your knocked out assistant. Yeah, he's going to sleep just fine. Might wake up with a headache, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. It's no big deal. Saren. Hello, Saren. Yes. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Well, now this is dead. What is that? 
off in the distance. Saren, you ship. Look at the size of giant it. squid thing. Giant squid monster. It's inking all over the place. There we go. Down. Suicide charges always work. Alrighty. Now, if I remember, there is something up here. Yep. Ooh, Krogan armor. Anything good in here? Nope. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Stop Nobody right there. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. What can you tell me about the attack? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! What about the beacon? Where is it? Do you know it? anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What about the ship? Did you see that crazy motherfucker thing? What else thing? can you tell me about the ship you saw? A squid! I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Could have been jamming signal. probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I okay, have to go. goodbye. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. I don't like being lied if to. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. That's why you ran Cheap here. Greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I guarantee you had more than just a pistol. Tell me everything. I'm only going to ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no, wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be you a snitch die? or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? Yeah, no problem. We'll keep it friendly. I just... Not like I just shoved a gun in your face or anything. <laughs> yeah, we can be great know. friends. Good luck. I'm gonna let you recover from your terrifying injury of a sh pistol to the face. So. Da -da -da. Hey, electronics. Gee, so glad I brought Caden along. Alright. Did we level up again? Can't remember. Nope. Okay, good.
think that's all the hidden items. Ah, containment cell. Yes, Commander. Yes, yes. It's Nihilus. So it is, Caden. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. If I remember if there's a reason. Yep. Oh god! Oh god! I'm burning! I'm burning! Ah! 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 My health recharges faster than it can fucking hurt me. Ashley, where are you? Ashley? Ash? Where the fuck are you? Get back over here. Just okay. Gonna hang out with the farmers. All right. Something's Bye -bye. moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. You're a coward. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Cole mentioned you. Do you have anything for You're me? Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean... What does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, alright. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. All right, what can you tell, tell me about, about the, the attack? attack? It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. The Geth didn't How find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do, run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Bet you tell does. Tell about this mothership you saw. I, I've never seen anything like it before. It. It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. 
That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. All right, fine. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Ooh, high explosive. Not that I ever fucking use grenades. <laughs> I've literally never used grenades in any of my playthroughs. <laughs> just, I don't know. Uh, why am I wearing light armor as a fucking... Okay, which is better? Oh. Yes. Caden, you get the light armor. Ashley, how are you doing? Okay, you're fine. Alright, good. Save again. Because if you don't save, you're fucked. If you die, it makes you start the whole damn planet over. Oh, I was gonna bash him in the head. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a sniper. Well, Ashley's gonna get a sniper. Caden gets out his pistol. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Ash. Destroyer down. Come on, come on, sight it, sight it, there we go. Shit, missed. Ow. Shit, missed again. Fuck. There we go. Alright. There we go. Got him. I hate this sniper rifle with the passion. I literally hate this sniper rifle. I can't wait till I get a better one that has super high accuracy. I suppose I could always upgrade my sniper rifles, but... Oh, we, we level up again, didn't we? Yep. Okay. Uh, let one more into Soldier, and... Turn on Burst is useful. Oh, shit. I forgot to... Yep, there we go. Decryption, Electronics, and Assault Training. I'll up your fitness. Oh, wait. Hold on. There you go. Max out your soldier. Ding. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. There and you dick. Hello, shock trooper. Hmm, what's that? It is humans. We must kill the humans. Enemy contact. Bombs. Must disarm bombs. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We it need don't... to find them all and shut them down. Caden, we have to have talk, buddy. Demolition charges. The Geth must have set them. Yeah. Who else would have? I'm sure the humans didn't want to kill themselves. All right. Sniper rifle time. Fucking 
goddamn shock trooper. Get back over here. There we go. There's one. Fuck, missed again. Oh god, he shot a rocket at us. That's one. Uh, there's gonna be two in a second. There's two. And three. Right, we're good. Not in the middle of a fight. Oh, shut up, Ashley. Didn't want to talk to you anyways, you bitch. <laughs> really? What the fuck are you guys shooting at now? Fuck. Oh, killed it. Good job, guys. I have the utmost faith in your shitty abilities. Caden's just got no health at all. Granted, if you bring a full team of soldiers with just combat abilities, you're basically unstoppable because everyone regenerates health so quickly. Um, uh, my team will be a little different. Oh, great. More Krogan armor. Shotgun. Shotgun. Contact, contact. Well, I didn't choose the shotgun. Where's my assault rifle? Get out there. Yeah, you explode on me, you son of a bitch. Anything over here? Anything? In here? Aha, continue. Are plating in high caliber barrel. Nice. And sometimes the stamina just doesn't even want to work. It's hesitant on how it it's 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 very picky about when it likes to work. All right, what do we got? Y, B, B. And a heat sink. Oh, my God. Equipment. I don't care about Caden. Shepherd. Armor plating. Ooh. Wait, hold up. Go back. Yes. Eh. What should I give you? Let's give you a heat sink. And chemical rounds. You the high caliber barrel and the hammerhead rounds. This needs armor piercing and improved fucking sighting because fuck you. <laughs> um, yep, that's good. Go ahead and save again. All right. Now we can leave. And with that, the first planet is done. Well, tutorial planet is done. At least. Ding. I'm just going to let this play out. Normandy. The beacon this is, is secure, amazing. Requesting media Actual feedback. working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. 
Roger Normandy, standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Very angry, aren't you, Saren? Doctor? Dr. Chakwas? I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Hey, Doc. Uh, like I got hit by a truck? Can I please like die? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You were careless. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Not a local hospital? I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. More like a nightmare. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. But death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm pissed Intel off. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. What happened to Did Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams good. is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. <laughs> what did you want you to talk about? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. 
Fuck those guys. The council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Severed. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates why? humans, why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, not really. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Death. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Fuck them. I'll say it again and I'll say it as many times as I have to. Fuck the Council, they're useless. Don't think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some... Ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. We'll take I'll care of it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Fuck them! When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. Fine. We got banged up pretty hard. Glad to see you're Hello, Commander, Kate. glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. How you holding up? Rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Eh, we dead failed Marines, though. Dead dead colonists, and in the end we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad, real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. Yeah, shit There's happens. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Keep it to yourself. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Just Keep shut up. Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yeah, fuck it. He's annoying. Boring. Waste of a character. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You don't Sounds sound like glad. Sounds like you're disappointed I survived. I never want to see anything bad happen to a fellow Marine commander. Let's just leave it at that. Something wrong. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. That's my prerogative. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I'm so sorry if I upset you. I think we got off on the wrong not. foot, Williams. Maybe we could start again. I'm not one to hold a grudge. I think we're all looking to put Eden Prime behind us. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, 
and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. The mission failed. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I, I should go speak go. with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Ashley. Space racist. Oh yeah, Ashley is 100% space racist. She hates everything. I'm glad you're what okay, up, Presley? Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah. I mean, we knew him for like five seconds. <laughs> What up, Joker, my dude? Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Works for me. Let's do it. Love you, Joker. You're the best. Look at that motherfucker. It's huge. Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look how big that is compared to Look the at fucking that Normandy. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, of course they don't, because they're idiots. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's that was fault, Saren's not fault. hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I hate them too, Ash. Don't worry. Everyone I can't hates tell the council. The from the animals. See, space racist. Big place. All right, what do we got here? B B B. 
Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argus Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before a team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god, you're gonna love these guys. This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. You're gonna love how these guys talk. The Elcor are literally one of my favorite species just because of the way they talk. Listen Please to this. Greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? They can't... They can't show, uh... You know, I'll let them explain. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Fuck you, Din. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me oh, more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me, Tell about, me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Tell me about your culture. Yeah, I love, I love learning the history and stuff. As many times as I go over it, and as many times as I've played all three games, it's just... I, I love hearing I'd about like it. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Uh, tell me that you're yourself, What do you Investor. do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. I should probably go. It was nice talking Goodbye, to you. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Let's talk to you. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your Ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Um, tell me about your embassy. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Okay. 
Um, tell me about the Volus. Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Whatever they're doing outside is screwing with everything. I'm gonna have to end the stream soon. Uh, tell Actually, me about your I history. Would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Tell your me culture. About culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Okay. Why are you so pissed you off? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Did I already ask about what the embassy? I don't know. You are in the embassy. Yep. In this shared Sorry. space, I aid my fellow Volus. Well, when I'm goodbye, not... Ambassador. Goodbye, Din. Yes, yes. Good Asshole. day, Earth Clan. Hey, uh, can I talk Hello to you? Hello there, Zeltan. Hi. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Uh, what's wrong? You seem wrong? distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's consort? this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where, is Where she? can I find the Cesari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Goodbye, Zeltan. We'll talk later. Alright, let's go. Figure I'll keep going for another half hour or so. Uh, just because I want to try and keep it more than an hour long. Um, at all times from now on, because I'm really tired of it. Hey, you! Uh... Do I need to talk Good to you? Good day, Commander. I don't think I have. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. How do you know me? Have you, you know met? who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's who your are name? you? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You are seem you busy? to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Who's Avena? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. I Thank should be you, going Sephira. now. Have a pleasant day. Or Sephiria. Pretty sure it was Sephiria. But I'm an idiot and can't really remember her name. Because she's not named. Uh, alright. Over here. I can't believe I landed a job here. 
This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. It is good to meet you too. Hey, Palin. Give me one sec. Gotta steal some shit off your computer. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. But the monitoring of this situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because we have our shared plight. If you understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Biotic supremacy! Ha ha ha! Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? Before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? You can't see my face, but I'm glaring at the leaf blower man outside. Um, why do you hate I get humans? I the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. We're not favorites. The Council, the council hates council us. treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? But how's the Tell investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. What do you Useless. know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What you do you don't have like against them? the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. That's a Sometimes bit you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Yeah, but we're kind of important. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Nope. But not all specters are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Tell, Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides oh, necessary sure. police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. I'll be going Okay, let's now. go. Goodbye. Have a good day, Executive Pal. Ooh, level up. Uh, my fitness, and start throwing points into that. This immunity is extremely powerful, and I want it as fast as possible. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, Ash, but you're just not gonna get what I need. Let's save again. Saving every half hour seems like a smart idea. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Wow, okay. Sure is peaceful here. 
Then Sash. Oh, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Why do you gotta be like that? Masana, hello. Now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Commander? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going Please on do. around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Um, tell me about Shaira. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Okay, tell, tell me about, about the Flux entertainment. and Cora's den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Okay. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Yeah, excuse me. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Uh, consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least where tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay. Bye, Fredericks. Alrighty. Um, by the way, this is most of the game, just talking to people. Kind of like Dragon Age. So, if you didn't like Dragon Age, you might not like this. <laughs> um, in case that hasn't been hammered home enough. Right, we can't do shit until we go to the Presidium. Until we go to the, uh, the little tower. So. Let's go. Fuck you, lawnmower man. God damn, he's just right outside. He's fucking with my stream. He's fucking with my sound. Everything. Oh my god. I hate him. Garrus! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You Sounds like he up. came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe. Probably not. Definitely won't. Council hates everyone. And they're a bunch of dumbasses, so you know. It's whatevs. Don't be ridiculous. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The news will make them strong but furious. 
The hearing's already started. Come on. Okay, Captain. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was You're you. The one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect? from a human. You'll pay for that. You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You arrogant fuck. I'll kill you. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the You've point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Council is idiots, all of them. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you Tell know me about Saren? this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't trust him. Any could idea be where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Um, okay, you sure about that? Like, I haven't really proven that I can really do anything, after all. It's like, okay, you well, I don't like it. Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other leads? There's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. 
I've heard Barlevon's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Does you it and ever? Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes so would a I. thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Uh, tell, tell me about more Shadow about Broker. the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm... Council Our and the ambassador. ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Why do we Who bother? cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. Okay, tell me about Tell me about Bar -Levan. Bar -Levan. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Mm, tell me about Harkin. You don't Harkin. think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought they this embassy him? was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. c -Sec is better off without him. Um, I want to know more specters? about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How are What's they the organized? command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Specters have a lot of power, Shepard. What one happens goes when too a specter far? goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another specter to bring the rogue agent down. I should go. Okay, good, bye. good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Alright, guys. Um, that's where we're going to end it for the day. 
Uh, well, at least for now. I might start it up again later. Um, next time, we will be going through everything on the Citadel. Um, starting with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having fun with this. I really love this game. I love the characters. I love pretty much everything about it. Um, yeah. Uh, take care, guys, and have a good time. See you all tomorrow. Or...